I'm with Phil, we're out on Explore, we're in Shropshire, we're at something called Snail Beach Lead Mine. Spoiler alert, there's no beach. I'm not sure if there's any snails, but there is a load going off. This place was mined from Roman times all the way up to 1955, and pretty much all of the infrastructure is still in place. Well excited, straight over the fence. They even bother with the gate. Here we go, Snail Beach. Ah. Okay, so we're going to walk up now. If you look all the way up there in the hills, you can already see a chimney. Down there, there's a tub. Down there, there's the railway. What was the railway? And this used to connect to the railway um, via a narrow gauge line that sort of winds around. And we're going to come and try and find as many of these remains as we can. So me and Phil, we tend to come to lead mines quite a bit, don't we, in, in Derbyshire and stuff. And they tend to say there that, oh, they think it goes back to the Roman times. But here they actually found evidence of it. They found a load of pig iron which dated back to Roman times. So they can categorically say Romans were working here at, at, at Snail Beach. And then it stayed open all the way through up until about 1911 when the kind of, you know, the, the mass production stopped and they allowed it to flood. Um, because they were up until that point pumping out any water that was coming into the lead workings. But a load of local lads got together and kind of kept part of it open, working the bits that weren't flooded till about 1955. Now I'm not sure if they closed because they exhausted all the lead or they closed because it just wasn't making money or whatever, I'm not sure, but we might find that out later with some notice boards and whatever. Okay, first remain then. Phil, what we got here, mate? Yeah, remains of an engine house. Can't see the workings, it's all been grassed over, look. Otherwise it might have been a bit more than... Yeah, so this was an engine house then. Okay. That is one big bit of rock. Now there is a branch line, or there was a branch line, uh, in the valley there, which I pointed to uh, a minute earlier. The reason for that was obviously, you know, that's an engine house, and engine houses need coal. So what they were doing, they weren't only shipping lead out of here, they were shipping coal in to fire these uh, these engine houses. And we've already got some serious spoil heaps here. You expect to see spoil heaps at coal mines, don't you? You forget that actually to get to the lead, they've got to get a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of rock and and stuff out of the way. So that there is an engine shed. We're going to get to that in a second, and there is a winding arm and all sorts. But I'm just looking here. So that's the underground map. Look at that. That's a toddler with a crayon, that is. Unbelievable. By the way, you're 10 metres from a narrow gauge line and haven't spotted it yet. I'm 10 metres from a narrow gauge line. Oh, there it is. Look at that, I've got some embedded track. There's so much still here, it's amazing. It's freezing though, I'm really cold. So here we go. So the narrow gauge track's going round there. They've stitched it with the road, but then it goes off down into some... I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what, what's down there, because this is the main area here. Well, this is a spare from to get into the engine shed there, look. This should have gone past that. I don't know what that is. It looks like an old bridge. It, can't it does look like an old when bridge, it yeah. In there, it's a Roman telegraph pole. It's around the side of there. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, look, you've got all this going on, look at that, and then you go, oh, we're on Mars. It's kind of, it is, look at that, it is like, 
just a wasteland as well. But I guess that's all come out of the ground, isn't it? And we don't need that, it's worthless, chuck it. Man, look at that. It is, yeah, it is. Built 1877. Look at that CCTV in 1877. Amazing. And there they go. Was it a bridge? It looked like a bridge, didn't it? It looks to me like it was a, tip, a bridge that used to go to a tipping point. Because so, you know all that spoiler we saw? Yeah, so maybe... Oofing it over here and just bang. Yeah. Maybe that was an incline then. Bring it down and chuck it. Yeah, it looks flat for me though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does to be fair. Amazing. Right, what? Switch it. Still moves. Wow. So presumably that's to change them to get into engine shape. Yeah, you got points there as well. You got you would have points here obviously going off into that engine shed. It might be the main engine coming in, you know, off the because it came came in from further down. This could be the main entrance in. Right, here we go. So there's your engine shed. And this line's carrying on, or would have carried on through here. There's some platforms. Oh, there you go, look. I mean, I'm guessing that's a reconstruction being, being wood, but you never know. I'm walking on the tracks. This is awesome. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I used to pick them up from old mines when I used to be a driver, taking them. Oh, really? So when I used to do reclaim all mining equipment, and, you know, sell them abroad. I don't know what they were then, I still don't know. Nah. This is, um, well, this is where they used to load then, isn't it? Must, must have been, yeah. Yeah. Have something was coming in here. Yeah, it looks like something was coming down here maybe as well. Load into it, off it goes. Bosh, see you later. So at the height of its workings, Snail Beach, in the late 1800s, was employing about 500 lads. And if you look around at the scenery, what a place to work. I mean, don't get me wrong, lead mine is going to be an hard graft that I don't want to swap places with but the idea of working somewhere as rural and as beautiful as this this valley it's incredible Shropshire is a really beautiful county and I didn't even realize I feel bad now that I didn't realize just how beautiful it is in Shropshire so we've come around we're going upstairs in a second but I'm loving that slate on the wall and also I'm wondering what's going off here it's oh. like a little almost like a little coal shoot yeah, interesting okay so we'll come up the stairs now, and then we should be faced with the so real, the real main site. The so this is the mine office, is it? Mine office, oh, okay. On the right, is Admin. It, um, Here we go. The blacksmith shop on the right. And this is George's shaft. What? It's these uh, headstocks uh, on top of George's shaft, so it'll be capped, but you can see how it works. Right, right, okay, well, that's George's shaft. Um, like there's a joke in there somewhere. He's, I'm expecting John Wayne to jump out. Know, it's a bit spaghetti western, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's just some people being sent on the tour. Less interesting. Look at that. Amazing. And like I was saying earlier, like visually, what a place to work. Birds going off on one. Dangerous structure, keep out. Goodness, look how old this is, man. Amazing. Oh, wow, what's going on in here? Epic. This is awesome. Can you see down there, Phil? Yeah. So it's capped further down, perhaps. I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to climb over the fence. But there you go. So filling up a little tub full of lead, pulling it up. So that would have been a uh, an engine house there as well, then, that one. Yeah, it is because it's got the. To wind it up, yeah. Rock in that, you can't get a lot in that, can you? You know, for economics, you thought they'd get a lot more in a truck than just that. Look at that, yeah. I bet it's, not even a, I bet it's only a one ton. 
So it depends how many times they were pulling that in and out. I remember at uh, Rosedale, they had them coming up at Sheriff's Pier and they were having to weigh them. Remember, they're a guy yeah, checking yeah. the weight so they didn't get screwed over. And uh, same principle, isn't it, as is this? Well, I'm just thinking here as well, because that's on narrow gauge line, obviously. So where are they wheeling it off? No, because there's none, there's none here. There's probably a lot of internal little, you know, plate weight, tramways all over the place that are long Yeah, place. buried, gone. Good night, Vienna. All right, let's keep walking around then. Oh, here we go. So there's that building. Up and there you go. A lot of people chatting, not really doing any work. These two are scrapping, look. Are they? These just, they're just chatting, aren't they? Yeah. Unbelievable. Really That's it, innit? Put some effort in, lads. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, Heritage Lottery Fund. Well, that's one good thing. Because we were chatting in the car on the way here. For some reason, we'd end up talking about scratch cards and, and the lottery. And we're basically saying it is just another tax on the poor, basically. Um, but actually, if some of the funds are going to fun places like this, and this is cool. Here's the money shot. Snail Beach Mine Company, 1848. There we go. Into the dark. What's that red thing down over there? I think it's just a reflector, isn't it? I'll have to handle the basket bills. Oh, I see. When you're talking to that. Oh, wow. It's a warning to not bang your head into it, look. There we go. All the way in, deep, deep, deep into ground, underground. Into ground. <laughs> I suppose it is into the ground, isn't it, to be fair? Look at that. Look at the way it's all built as well, look. That looks incredible. Wow. Amazing. I wonder if that was the original engine, original engines, was that one they reflect on and they've just built this artificial one, look, because it changes gauge, don't it, look, the, the Oh, does it? Yeah, look, it goes to being smaller. Well, yeah, I, I think so, because look at that brickwork at the top. Sometimes that's what happens on really things. Yeah. Also, what sometimes happens, because we found this when we went to Good Luck Mine in Derbyshire, is actually when the mine closes, they, they blow up, they add it, don't they? And they yeah. seal it off yeah. um, with explosives. And then obviously when people then come along and want to reopen it or, you know, preserve it or do sank, they have to basically reconstruct the entrance again because someone's, you know, blown it bits. So in a second, we're going to have a climb up. I want to say hill, but it looks like a mountain. Uh, to the pumping engine house. But you were saying, Phil, this is a compression house. I don't even know what that is. I don't, because when you look at that, you think that's something a bit more, with a more grander title than Professor House. Yeah, you do, yeah. Well, let's have a look, actually. There's a, there's a sign here. It might tell us what a compressor house is. Are they crushing the ore into a more manageable size? Is that what it's about? A pair of steam-powered compressors installed here provide a compressed air to machinery. Ah, so totally different. Okay, so the steam, then, is creating the, the power um, to, then, um, to then work the machinery. There we go. That makes sense. They were clever so-and-sos, weren't they? Wow, look at this. Just the size of those, the size of the um, stones are insane. Incredible. Look at that. It's like a face. Hello, mate. This was a crusher house, wasn't it? They used to separate all the juicy bits from the rubbish. Got you. And then chuck the rubbish down yeah, there. Yeah, well, I don't know where it went. Yeah, could have gone anywhere. There's that many spoily. Yeah, there's a lot of that. So where, the winding wheel house in there, look. where am I looking? Ah, oh, mate! Oh, the crushing wheel, massive cog crushing wheel. Right. So that bit then where the, you know, where obviously the, what looks like a prison cell, that would have just had the. Two crushing wheels. Yeah. We'd have just had a, a massive girt, bit of wood through that to spin it. Amazing. And there's the, obviously the chimney. Let's get in the air in there to, to fire it. And this is what we looked at earlier from a, from a distance, 1881. Looks amazing. 
Oh, mate, and people live here as well. Imagine that, just looking out on history like this. I'd love that. I'd proper love that. I mean, I look out on fields and horses, so I'm dead lucky, but at the same time, I could, I could get on board with looking out over, over some Victorian industrial history. And it was some serious history, actually, because this was the biggest um, lead mine in Shropshire, and there was a lot of lead mines in Shropshire. Well, there's a lot of lead mines in England, full stop, but there was a lot of lead mines in Shropshire, and this was the biggest of them. Because um, what we're looking at here, this section, this is just the bottom bit. What we're going to do in a bit is climb all the way up to, uh, to the top area, because there's workings up there as well, um, including the pumping engine house. And that's what I was saying earlier, where when they closed it down in, in 1911, how they closed it down basically was they just stopped pumping water out so it all floods because obviously that's what happens um, but this was the last remaining one because most of them in the area uh, in the county went in in the late 1800s um, due to for foreign imports do you know what I mean usual usual drill um, nothing changes does it making our way up now to this pumping house and someone keeps making a really weird noise and it's not me and it's not Phil it's an animal of some description it sounds like a door creaking it does sound like a door creaking or like a like a woodpecker you know he's got a cob on and he's probably going for it he won't do it do you hear that? it's a bit Jurassic Park now yeah, it's not related to lead mining, but if you know what that sound is, let us know. So we're about to come to something called an inspection pit. So just up there, you've got that, that pumping house that we've, we've come up to. So I'm guessing this is so workers could get underneath it and make sure everything was functioning in the way that it, it should have been. Yeah. 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 It looks like a family had it, but it's an inspection tunnel basically, isn't it? So you can get underneath it and make sure everything's going yeah, fine. Um, well, there's a black bag. There's a couple of bodies in there. Uh, okay, yeah, well, you can see the gist of it. Look. Yeah. It's only for a human in it to walk through. Yeah. Okay, so then we follow it up. And then, if I get a bit of a leg on, here is some major infrastructure again. There's another one, Resting Hill Chimney. I can see why it's called Resting Hill, because you'd need to when you get to it, no doubt. Here we go. Engine shaft. That's where they're pumping out the water, look. Wow. So that's what it looks like underground. So that shaft then, would have been here, I'm guessing. Oh, that's where it is. Here it is. I wonder how deep that goes. Let's have a look. If we can see. Can you see anything down there? How deep? Uh, the shaft itself, but I'm not sure how deep it goes. I'm gonna actually have a look with the naked eye. Oh, oh it's pretty deep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Wow. But it would have to be, wouldn't it? Maybe there's another face, look. This one's looking slightly more surprised. Outraged, even. There's loads going off, look. Tiny little staircase up. This would have been such a huge complex, wouldn't it? Yeah. Back in the day. I mean, we've basically just got foundations here, pretty much, but... You know what this is a little bit, what could be similar to? Remember at Overton, that lead man on the hill? And oh, yeah, yeah. Scratching and scratching his head, wondering what was here, what was here. There was nothing like this. And if you look at this, this is on a hill. That was on a hill. So therefore, you've got to think that the structures that are here to a certain amount would be the same on there, wouldn't they? You yeah. have to have it to make it operate, so this is a good kind of knowledge to picture what that Overton um, lead mine was like. Yeah, yeah, the one in um, in around Ashover that we looked at. It's just amazing. 
thing is as well, because it was operated, I mean, this isn't Roman, obviously, although it does look like the un underfloor heating a bit, but the fact that you were mining it continuously from Roman times all the way up to, I was going to say 1955, but that was just a load of lads doing it. So up until 1911 then, when it was, you know, in its, in its pomp, all these structures could have been built at different times in that gap. Um, and that's a big gap of years. So, you know, summit comes and you expand a little bit more. Sales are going well, expand a bit more. Uh, maybe the cost of lead is going up and therefore you might need to downsize a bit. You know, there's, there's loads going off over the years. Okay, so we're just coming around to the side now. So this, Phil's telling me, was an incline. Oh my goodness no, me. Near me. Not oh, I was gonna say, that's a little bit silly, okay. Right, so Phil's telling me <laughs> that this is the incline and it looks like an incline to be fair. So this is how they would have brought the coal up um, to fire this pumping house. So there would have been a steel winch somewhere along the line to, to get them up here. I don't know where that would have been positioned. I, I, you guess it's at the top, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe this, maybe this is it. I'm not sure. I wonder if there's anything on the other side of this. Um, so this is where it was winched up from. And here, let's have a look. Uh, potentially, could have come out of that top bit, couldn't it? Could have done, yeah, because trees wouldn't have been there. No, those trees wouldn't have been there, yeah? Yeah, that might have been it. Look at that. You don't realise till you come around this side just how big it is, actually. Amazing. Right, let me stomp up here. That noise is still going, whatever that creature is. See, this now, this looks like Magpie Mine from this bit. Some of the mill buildings. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess they're all built around the same time though, aren't they? So, wow, we. Look at that. Jeez, that is them. Um... No wonder they never demolished any of this. Just what's the point? If it's so well built, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad they didn't because it's incredible. Amazing. So is that the inspection? So I, I wonder, I wonder if that's where, where it comes that? out. Just there, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it is. That's exactly where it is, Phil. Yeah. So to get underneath it, that, yeah. To get underneath the machinery, yeah. Because this is that's the other thing. Like this is just a shell. This would have been just absolutely jam-packed full of machinery and different floors as well. You can see where they'd have had different floors. So how many have we got? Well, there's one down there. So that I'm on the second floor, or rather first floor. Sorry, ground floor, first floor, second, third floor. So we're quite high up now, up on the hillside, but there's one more thing to see a bit further up. Um, it's another chimney, which is what you can see from a, from a distance when you're driving um, in this area. It's called Resting Hill Chimney, and I can see why. Oh, I can see it or not. So we're gonna have a look at that, and then we'll go back down and we'll follow that railway line out. It's worth it though for the great reveal. It's a pity you can't get up to the top of that because if you could, the views would be insane, Phil. Around, um, you could probably see the whole county to be fair from up the top of that. Thing is, as well, Phil, me and you are knackered, aren't we? Climbing up here. A little bit, yeah. M imagine building it. Mate. Yeah. How do they get all the gear up here? That's it. Lugging all that kit up. Oh, mate. My legs are burning. That's insane. And because we're on an exposed hillside, it must have had to have had loads going on underneath it in terms of foundation so this thing don't topple. Here we go. There's a little fire pit underneath there. Incredible. Just around the other side now. Oh, mate. You can see into that chimney, let's have a little turn the torch on. Look at that, look at that stonework. Big fire pit in the bottom. Oh, mate, I wish I could get in there. But I can't. Wow, what a chimney. All right, we're gonna walk all the way back down again now. And we're gonna to come to something called the Candle House, which Phil's telling me is where the mining company 
used to sell the candles to the miners, never miss a trick, um, so that they could actually see what they were doing. <laughs> okay, he's worked it out. So, that up there is the incline that we were looking down at when we were at the engine house. It comes across, it would have been in, well, I don't know if the road was here, but it comes down here. And this, which we really couldn't see because it was so well hidden under the ivy, is the candle house. Wow. Oh, mate, look at that, collapsed in roof. <laughs> so that's. Why are you celebrating a collapsed in roof? Somebody might have got injured. <laughs> this is true. Normally they don't have roofs on there, do they? Just the fact that there's a roof. But that's where they were making the candles then, to sell to the workers, which is amazing. Okay, and then that would have gone on. Where would that go on to? I know there's a reservoir in that direction, I think, I'm pretty sure, but. I'm going to climb down to this building. Yeah, go for it. I'll have a look. Just because. I've come all this way, it seems a shame not to. So what on earth is in here? How random, huh? Oh, this is just storage. Storage for what? What on earth are they? Wow, there you go. So it's come round this side. Oh! If these buildings could talk, I tell you what, mate. Oh, there's no window there. They would be telling some, whoa, that's an owl. Mate. Hello, mate. How you doing? You dribbling. You didn't get it. Try again. Okay. So the incline, um, the map basically that Phil's looking at is not quite to scale, so it throws you a bit. Um, and we're also doing it in reverse. But we're going to come down here. This is another incline that came off. They just look like dirt tracks, but they would have been. Hello, mate. How you doing? Oh, mate, you're adorable. Is it like you are, black sheep of the family? <laughs> I think I'm the black sheep of every family. How you doing? You're very cute. So what we got here, Phil? Explosives house. An explosives house. Well, it's not the name of the house to live in, of course. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. So apparently I had a one-way system for miners going in and out. To, I, I presume they went in and went round, collected stuff, and then came back out again. I don't know whether it was for health and safety, so they didn't all bang into each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, because you got a wall partition yeah, yeah, straight yeah. away. One-way job. I mean, it makes sense. It's apparently about as far as health and safety went back there. Yeah. So we've just come up above it. Look at that. So you'd have kept the explosives then in the middle section. So if anything goes bang, you've got two walls to protect you. So we're following another incline down to the third set of buildings um, and we've, uh, we've spotted something out the corner of our eyes. So obviously you've got some uh, stables here, I don't know if there's, there's horses or sheep in there, but look at that. That's not farm related. So that's the base of an old structure. There's another structure up there as well. So I'm not sure what was there, but there was definitely something. Um, and then there's a line going straight down then into into the complex. So we're back at the beginning now, pretty much. So this is where we started. There's the engine shed. See, there's all the structures there that we looked around, incredible. Um, just out of sight, obviously, is the stuff we've been looking at at the top of the hill. That's, that's over there. Um, but here we go, we're gonna follow this bit now. So this line came out and went exactly where we don't know. Should we, intriguing, isn't it, that? should we follow the track? Yeah, get going. Rude not to, innit? So we followed that line down. It now disappears, but there are a few little bits to look out for. Um, there's an ore processing area, I think. And then if we carry on going, Phil's just found on the uh, on the information map that there, there there were some extra workings in the 1930s. Now I know that this place closed in 1911, but was left open by some locals um, until until 1955, but I didn't realise they'd built their own workings. And there we go. So we lost it, we walked around. It just appeared. It appeared again. Black charm, spiral, classifier and jigs. So he, he was dancing for some reason. Presumably he's happy. Um, there we go, there's those headstocks. They're not in someone's garden. No, they're not. They look oh, like it, yeah, they did look like it, didn't they? I was purposely trying to not film them, but obviously... Um, they're not in the garden, so that's an absolute result. 
so we can get up. I mean, these look rebuilt to me. I mean, these won't be. The bases will be all original. The original but yeah. these, these have been, you know. This is the base of the engine house with the winding gear, isn't it? There we go. Oh no, maybe not then. Maybe not then. Oh come on, this not. This would have rotted a few years. It's the same position and it's the same plinth, but this has had a new shed put around it, hasn't it? You reckon they've gone to Definitely. own bargains? Definitely. And there's the line carrying on then, in so, through those gardens. So that's so 1900. We saw that earlier, didn't we? And we saw a bit of it there, and then we've like come up here, haven't we? To... So is that original? The actual headstock? No. It, it looks like it. It does look like it, same, but, but you, it a bit. yeah, who knows? But I mean, if they are building replicas again, that's a yeah, lot of money. Ah, boo! Bloody hell! Capped. Capped it. Blimmin' capped it. No, no. I realised that the minute I pressed it. Yeah, no, for you know that might be a hundred years of foliage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Foliage is a good word. Or foliage. Or foliage. Yeah. There we go. So that base is original then. Phil doesn't think that the shed is. He thinks that that came from B&Q. Well, how often the fences rot on your back garden? You've got to replace them every 10 or 15 years? I hope not. I've only just replaced mine. Well, you reckon that's stood here since 1900? I can't imagine. No, probably not. But it would be cool if it had. So we're going to have a walk around now to try and find these 1930s workings, which I really didn't didn't know they were here. I, didn't, I, I just thought they'd, they'd carried on. Um, working little sections of it. I didn't realise that they built their own infrastructure, so that's cool. So this reservoir was built for those upper workings, those those latter ones. Oh, mate, yeah. Phil spotted that rope swing. I'd have loved that as a kid. We could be in Canada now, if you look around. Look at that, it's incredible. Uh, now, there are some structures, but your guess is as good as mine. Somewhere on the side. So what we should come to first is something called an ore processing plant you're saying that the process the uh, galena which yeah. i was like what is galena it sounds like, like a, an italian ice cream but it's yeah, not it's it, it's a form of um it's a form of lead here we go phil we've got some stairs mate so there should also be um an adit around here some workings because this was actually a, a completely separate entity oh mate i've seen some track yeah there's some tubs some fly things, upper works. So buckets of galena in the 1960s, hang on, we've been lied to here, mate. Well, that's when they kept going. Yeah, but no, it said it was, they started it off in the 30s. And they Ooh. kept going till the 60s, that was it. Well, it said it ceased in 1955, okay, so, so. so now I'm thrown, unless someone's just basically left them for five years, for a well, laugh. Some galena, well, maybe it ran from 30s to the late 50s, then. Here we go. So earlier, right at the top of the video, I was saying I wondered why they ceased in 1955. Was it because it ran out? And it was. It did. Oh, mate. Not by more, it's a pro lock on the wheel. Yeah. Doobie D40, mate. Oh, the track runs out. There's a bit of track missing. They put some of the stops on it. That's awesome. So there should be an addit as well. Yeah, somewhere around here. So this mine from the 30s was known as Perkins Level. Um, and that's what we're trying to find. We've basically found everything else on the maps apart from Perkins Level. It's the one thing. Um, Perkins Level. It just looks like, oh, you know, it's fallen away underneath the trees. But that's not natural. There you go. Wow. So that's what they were mining. In there. In there, in the 1930s. Dragging it out straight down, I guess into those structures where we just were a second ago. Amazing, Phil. Yep. I'm out of breath now. Well, well flooded apparently in there as well. Well flooded, is it? Yeah. Well, there's no, there's no pumping infrastructure that I can see, so. There you go. Wow. Mate, Snail Beach Mine. What a complex. So that's us then. Bit of a clamber, Phil. Yep. Up and down the hills, but a beautiful location and so many remains. Snail Beach Mine, amazing. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and hopefully Phil did. It's hard to tell at the minute because we're a bit out of breath. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.